Let's learn about the force of friction. By the end of this digital lesson, you should be able to discuss ways of reducing friction. How can friction be reduced? There are several ways of reducing friction that is a cause of nuisance. Use of lubricants, substances that make surfaces smooth, for example, oil and grease are called lubricants. Oil is applied on the hinges of doors, on parts of sewing machines and in the engines of vehicles to make them run smoothly. Grease is applied to the small wheels of bicycle chain to make the chain run smoothly over them. Water can also be a lubricant. A film of water between moving surfaces reduces friction. A car or bicycle will lose its grip on a wet road causing it to skid. Use of ball bearings. Many machines have ball bearings in them. Ball bearings are small round metallic balls. The hub of a bicycle wheel has a set of ball bearings on each side. The metallic balls move over the hub easily and smoothly. This reduces the friction between the wheel hub and the axle of the bicycle. Friction between these balls and the hub can be reduced further by greasing them. Use of rollers. Some heavy loads are placed on rollers to make their movement much easier. Rollers are objects that are shaped like a cylinder. The rollers reduce friction by separating the contact areas between the moving parts. Rolling friction is much less than sliding friction. Smoothing surfaces. Smooth surfaces greatly reduce friction. If you make the surfaces in contact smooth, friction between them will be reduced. This works very well for objects that are being pushed or pulled over floor, thus making the work easier. Streamlining bodies. Streamlining is another way of reducing friction. Aeroplanes. Ships, boats, canoes and motor vehicles are streamlined to reduce friction between them and the air or water through which they move. Birds and fish are also streamlined to reduce friction or overcome air or water resistance as they move. Try this at home. You will need a wheelbarrow loaded with soil or sand, wet ground, wood shavings, sawdust, coffee husks, dry grass and a slightly sloping area in the school compound. It is best to try this activity try during push the, the loaded season. wheelbarrow over the slippery ground. Is it easy? Now spread either the wood shavings, sawdust, coffee husks or dry grass on the slippery ground. Push the loaded wheelbarrow over the surface again. Is it easy? Explain your observations. You will observe that it is not easy to push the loaded wheelbarrow over the slippery ground. The wood shavings, sawdust, coffee husks or the dry grass increase the friction between the wheelbarrow and the surface thus making movement easy.